to test this theory. Okay, you want to go take a look at the setup we got and I'll explain you what yeah. we're going to do? Mike joins shark researcher James Anderson of the University of Hawaii. So this is the tank. In an experiment to unlock how sharks use the magnetism of volcanic features as signposts. James has gathered some scalloped hammerheads. And then they are so cute when they're little. These sharks grow to about six feet. Their distinct head is full of sensory pores known as ampullae of Lorenzini. When we start the trial, we're going to ring the bell. Uh, James thinks sharks might be able to pick up and identify magnetic signals, like those found in lava rock. James has set up two targets. One emits a magnetic field. The other is a control with no signal. Let's go. If James' theory is correct, the sharks will detect the magnetic target. Yeah, let's see what this little shark's got. The sharks swim right past the non-magnetic target. Yeah, a bit of circling around. Yeah. Start to circle. Right over. Oh, and oh, turn, really yeah. fast turn. Okay, so. so we see some tight turns. Yeah, it's really obvious how different it is over the magnet target versus the non-magnet. Right. It's finding that magnetic stimulus and recognizing that that's what it's looking for, even though this one over here looks just the same. It's only a small demonstration, but it's convincing. Sharks could be detecting and using volcanoes as magnetic beacons across all the oceans. So we tested out this new shark deterrent called Shark Bands. Shark bands use magnets to deter sharks by disrupting the shark's electrical receptors around their snout. We dropped the deterrent in one of the sharkiest hotspots on a baited camera station off the northwest coast of Australia. Here's the results. So we've cut up the video so you can just see the interactions the sharks have with the deterrent. At the 13 minute mark, a shark nudges the bait, comes back and bites the bait off. Then at the 15 minute mark, the shark returns, this time aiming at the shark band and biting it off. We'll slow it down again for you here. Then, at the 18 minute mark, the shark comes back and takes a final bit of bait off the camera station. And that's the end of the test. 18 minutes and it's all gone.